The answer lies with these little red boxes on your timeline. So I've got a red box next to video one and a red box next to audio one. So let me explain. So currently I've got this video selected within my media pool. Now this is a video with audio. It's me talking, so it has an audio track on it as well, which is where you can see the little musical note in the bottom left hand side of the preview. Now with that one selected, you'll notice I get a red box on video and I also get a red box on audio. This is an MP3 in my media pool. If I click this, there's no video, it's just audio, because of course this is just a music file. This B-roll up above doesn't have any audio with it at all. So if I click this, we just get the V1. We just get the red box on video one. So how does this work? Let me select the one with the audio and the video. And so by default, you can see I've got V1 and A1 both selected. So I'm just gonna hit F10 to insert or overwrite this media onto my timeline. And it's just gonna insert the video and the audio on video one and audio one. Now for starters, I'm just gonna use my mouse. If I just click V2, the V2 will be highlighted in red. We're gonna leave the A1 as it is. We just did the exact same thing. Highlight this in my media pool, hit F10, and now you can see what it's done. It's imported the audio, still on audio track number one, but my video is now on video track two. Let me do one last one, video three this time. This time we're just gonna select a different clip, add that on there, and it just drops it on. So you just pick and choose the destination track where you want it to go. Now you can do this simultaneously for audio and video. So if I want this video track to go onto V3, but I want my audio to be on audio two, I can just tick the ones that I want, hop onto here, insert, and there you go. So that's just dropped that on there. We've got the video on video three and the audio on audio two. And it really is as simple as that. Now that's clicking around with our mouse, which we don't want to do. We want to use keyboard shortcuts. So grab your mouse first of all, just make sure that you're on your timeline, make sure that something is selected or you've clicked anywhere. And then you can use the keyboard shortcut of control shift up and down to cycle through the different video tracks. Or if you do control and alt up and down, you can select between your audio tracks. Alternatively, if you hold the alt key, you can use your one to eight numbers to just jump through. So one, two, three. For audio, it's alt and control, two, three, and one. So you can use either of those keyboard shortcuts to hop between the tracks or cycle through them nice and easily. Now one last quick thing to mention, I've got my video with audio selected within my media pool. And as you can see, I've got my video one and my audio one as my destination tracks. If I was to just hit control, alt and one again, so trying to select this audio track, which is already selected, what it'll actually do is just disable that track. So now if I was to just hit F9, it would only insert the video, not the audio, because we've disabled the audio. Let me just undo that and do the opposite. I'm gonna hit Control Alt 1 again to activate this one. I'm gonna hit Alt and 1 to now disable my video one destination, F9, and it's only gonna insert my video. So you can pick and choose whether you want both video and audio, or just one or the other. Now, the only quick warning, once you've done that, remember to make sure to undo it essentially. So at the moment, I don't have a video destination track selected. So if I was to select one of my videos from my media pool, that doesn't have audio, it's just video. And let's pick a point on my timeline, F9, nothing will work, F10, F11, nothing's going to work because it doesn't have a destination. It doesn't know where to put that video file to. So I just need to do Alt and one, just to make this video one a destination track once again. And then if I hit F9, it'll just drop it on there like so. And there you go, easy as that.